Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed since last time. It's still legal to shoot unarmed people to death in Florida. Last week, 47-year-old Michael Dunn was convicted on four criminal charges, including three counts of attempted murder for shooting at a group of unarmed teenagers at a gas station in Jacksonville, Florida. The jury was deadlocked on a fifth criminal charge, that of first-degree murder for the death of one of the teenagers, 17-year-old Jordan Davis. Dunn, as you can see, is white, and Jordan Davis and his friends were black. So, just in case you were wondering about that, yes, it's also still okay for white people to murder black people in Florida. Tennessee Republicans union bust themselves in the foot. Week before last, workers at a Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee, voted against joining the United Auto Workers Union in a vote that was heavily influenced by Republican politicians, including Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam and anti-government activist and sentient mass of clueless libertarian self-righteousness Grover Norquist. Big Republican victory, right? Well not so fast. Following the vote against unionization and the perception of Republican interference in that vote, the head of Volkswagen's Works Council, which is a 20-member body of Volkswagen that consists of representatives from both the labor side and the management side, which must approve all VW plant openings and closings, said that he doubts Volkswagen will be opening any more plants in the southern U.S. Well, so much for being on the side of the working man. Hey, fellas. Faith healer parents get prison time after killing second child. Last week, Herbert and Catherine Scheibel were each sentenced to serve a maximum of seven years in prison for allowing their eight-month-old son Brandon to die of treatable pneumonia. The Scheibels are members of a fringe Pentecostal church and don't believe in modern medicine. But much to my, and I assume to your dismay, that's not even the stupid part. The stupid part is that Brandon was the second child the Scheibels had allowed to die, the first being their two-year-old son, Kent, who died in 2009, also of treatable pneumonia. Brandon was eight months old, when he died last year, which means just since Kent died in 2009, the Scheibels managed to conceive, deliver, and kill a whole new child. And by the way, they have seven other children whose futures I can only imagine have never looked brighter. Senate Republicans introduce bill to block federal recognition of same-sex marriages. Senators Mike Lee and Ted Cruz have introduced a bill that would prohibit the federal government from recognizing the marriages of same-sex couples who live in states that don't recognize their marriages. Even if this bill passes the Senate and the House of Representatives, there is not a chance that President Obama signs this thing into law, which means this is yet another example of Republican politicians threatening and demonizing their gay fellow Americans in order to earn some extra cred from the bigots in their base. And this sort of thing isn't just going on on Capitol Hill lately. Four U.S. states move forward with pro-discrimination bills. The state legislatures of Tennessee, Kansas, Idaho, and Arizona have all recently introduced bills that would protect the rights of private individuals and businesses to refuse service to LGBT people, including non-emergency medical personnel in the case of the Idaho bill. The justification for these bills, what else? protecting religious liberty. So let me just run through this again really quickly, since apparently there are still those of you out there who can't quite grasp this concept. To all you religious folks who have a problem with same-sex marriage, same-sex adoption, and having to afford gay people the same baseline, bare minimum respect with which you expect other people to treat you, they're not persecuting you. You are actually persecuting them. 
They don't want to take anything away from you. They just want the same basic rights and privileges that you have always had. Freedom of religion means the freedom to practice your religion, not the right to treat people of whom your church disapproves like shit. Okay? You got it? The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.